Hi, Joe Glavin from City Floor Supply. Welcome to our Facebook Live. Um, today we're going to do an unboxing of a new sander, uh, the Legend from American Sanders. Really great reviews, so wanted to do, do a full unboxing here. Uh, what you're seeing is essentially the box off, which is this guy here. We've got some some straps to take off of here. I mean, this thing is this skid that it's on is built like a tank, um, and it's bolted with steel. So uh, we've already taken the straps off the back just to save some time, but I'll show you how they go on. So uh, if you do order one of these and we ship it whole, you'll just know how to take it apart and take it off. All right, so the uh, front piece. It's just got lag bolts with this mounting hardware. And essentially at this mounting hardware, um, you know, you can see they've gone extra length just to make sure it doesn't get scratched in shipping. We've got felt on the back. Um, it's mounted to these uh, front handle holders, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, and they're also, you will mount to this, the uh, stair climber kit as well. So we'll get into that. Um, so that bracket. And in the back here, I don't know if we can see this on Facebook, maybe Instagram. Here, so these straps, essentially mount like this and are um, lag bolted in. So we're good, they're off. Uh, again, nylon fiber washers, keep it getting scratched. And then you just reinsert these two bolts that these are mounted to. Right. So, Excellent. Thank you, sir. All right. So as you can see, it ships on its own base. Um, that spacer is just to keep the wheels uh, off from getting damaged in shipping. And uh, this crate you can mount in your van. You can see how it's mounted here and here to the skid. So it would be the same operation in your van. And then you would be able to strap the unit through here with just regular um, ratchet straps to keep it still. Again, just some of the things that they thought of for you to transport that in your vehicle. So let's go over some of the features of the Legend. We'll start off with the uh, sanding belt, drum, and top roller. So. Uh, what we've got here is a door that is vented and why a vented door it's to help with dust pickup um, It's to let air flow in so that the what the fan is drawing Goes into the bag. It also keeps the top roller clean and the drum clean and if anyone knows as you've sanded floors um, the material that builds up on that top roller uh, will eventually throw off the tracking. As far as the door, um, you know, it's a positive lock. We've got this spring clamp now to keep it shut. If the door itself is spring loaded so it stays open, it's not constantly flopping on you. Um, we still have the carbide belt guard. In case the belt does ride out, you won't cut through your door. So again, it's all the little things um, that are really nicely done uh, by American Sanders on this unit top roller unit is uh, essentially v-shaped again it's you know convex and the drum is a slotted invented drum that's flat uh, so you're gonna get quick easy tracking and you're gonna get flat cutting and speaking of flat cutting you know the precision of the new wheelbase underneath here which I'm gonna I'll flip it over and, and show it to you 
Uh, really well made, cast aluminum. Cast aluminum unit here. Really, really solid compression springs here. Um, this is just gonna give us a flat cut. Um, we're gonna reduce wave, we're gonna eliminate chatter, and um, any kind of edge cutting is gonna be eliminated. And that's due to this entire wheel system. You know, we've got a dual rotating rear caster here, um, double ball bearings in this caster yoke. So again, just something that's really solid, should last forever. Some of the new features on this, you know, we've got an LED light, which you'll see when we light up and sand with this guy. Um, that comes from un underneath here and is on uh, when the power's plugged in. So it's a good indicator that you have voltage. Um, we've got a laser guide here. Again, also on when voltage is applied. The carry handle, we have dual purpose, one for the motor and uh, one for the front of the machine, we use the same handle. And again, um, tension spring, very similar to what's on the door. Strong, well-made, probably cold rolled steel there. All right, belt tension, let's get a belt on there. So, you know, we've got a positive pop on the spring tension. And we'll check that belt when we're turning on the power. Uh, as far as, let's do this. Let's do the pulley system here. There we go. American Sanders has gone with the Poly-V pulleys. With the Poly-V pulley, you get great direct transfer of power from the motor to the drum and to the fan unit. We still have our idler pulley here, and you can see, you know, much more substantial than some of the other uh, sanding units that are out there. And so we have tension now on our belts. Um, Essentially, the, the motor unit, this, this motor head, is removable pretty much toollessly, um, which a lot of other manufacturers, you know, can't say. So you, you would drop that down, pull these pins out. Um, they just have cleavage pins here, and then away we go. So let's uh, put some tension on this. And again, direct power transfer from the motor to the fan and the drum. Bring our attention here to the motor. So some new features besides the carry handle on the motor. Let's pull that off so we get a look. We have an integrated circuit switch. Um, we have an hour meter and a voltmeter. So as soon as voltage is applied, the voltmeter is gonna light up and tell us what the input voltage is. Um, hour meter will give you an idea on you know, your maintenance levels as far as uh, top roller unit change, wheels change, casters, that kind of thing, bearings, um, all that good stuff. So we do have all sealed bearings in here that should last a pretty good amount of time. All right, so another new feature, and it's actually not on this unit. They have an adjustable handle that's available. Um, I believe it goes from 30, 30, about 33 and a half inches in overall height up to 39, give or take. Um, so a pretty good four to five inch swing on height for your um, control handle 
or your feather handle, I'm sorry, and your steering handle. And, you know, that's to go from, you know, a guy that might be 5'4 to a guy that's, you know, over six foot. Let's see, yeah, onboard tools. So again, all attached to the motor housing here. Um, pretty much every tool that you're gonna need for adjustment on the belt or to take apart the machine is gonna be located here, as well as back here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, these are wrenches that are on a magnet back here. And again, all four open end wrench slot sizes fit all of the nuts and bolts on this unit. So uh, again, we have a dual purpose handle, feathering handle that's been out in the industry for a while now. Um, so, you know, regular control handle or feather handle. We have standard, you know, 240 volt, 20 amp uh, plug here that is lighted when it's plugged in. And then another new feature would be uh, the adjustable and positive stop on the bag dust pipe support. So you can adjust it to front, either side, and then to the back. Okay. For this stack pipe, it's actually a three, a three-way version, I guess you would say, of a, of a stack pipe. You can use the dust bag support that comes, or I'm sorry, the dust bag that comes with the Legacy, which is a sealed inner gasket that fits over this and then attaches temporarily um, to the elbow. So you can also put a two inch uh, cuff dust hose on this uh, if you're running a vacuum system. And you can also go above this throat here, this stop, and put a tied, regular standard tied sander bag um, with a string. So three different styles on this, which is a great idea. And that is really tight. So that's a dustless seal. We've got good dust collection coming out of the front with the vented door. And then we'll move on to the back here. Um, again, with the control handle, we have a feather stop and we have a standard control up and down. Uh, we have our on off supply here. And then we have an onboard uh, USB. So there's a dual port USB here, charge of, I guess, a battery, a uh, portable battery or something like that. Any kind of tools that have batteries that can be charged. Um, pretty sure it's meant for your phone. Uh, get a charge for the rest of the day. Someone wants to know, how does this compare to the Hummel? Uh, actually, just two different animals, right? They're, um, you know, the, the, the slot here, like for instance, we didn't go over drum pressure, but we have five pressures over here. Uh, starts at 50, goes up to 90. So it's in 10 pound increments, uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Um, as far as the, as far as the pound that you cut, probably a little heavier than the logler. Um, but then again, the logler would probably say, adjust your grit so there's you know there's there's all kinds of different ways to handle um, drum pressure and also grit but we also have a voltage meter on here and an hour meter there is uh, an adjustable again an adjustable uh, steering and control handle here that uh, the logler doesn't have either so those would probably be the main differences um, you know the spring system underneath you know, they're just built differently. Uh, they're both eight inch machines. Um, I want to say this is six and a half horsepower at uh, peak. And um, I'll bet you Logler's probably close to that as well. But that's about it. Does the Hummel have a USB port? Does not. Um, so uh, the sleeve for that this um, dust elbow enters is gasketed again. So what we're trying to do is uh, 
you know, is keep everything as dust free as possible when possible. Um, and that would be any point of entry of the dust here in the front um, where, you, where you're taking the bag off and of course where the bag is being filled from the dust um, stack pipe support. Uh, drum speed and fan speed, I don't have those numbers. I tried to look them up, I couldn't find them. So I don't know what the RPMs, um, I'd bet the drum is every bit of 3000 or more. Um, but, so we have cord holder. So some of these are just, you know, your traditional. Um, we've got a cord holder here that's uh, dual sided. It, depending on what side of the room you're on and which way you're flicking the cord. Um, and then we have the transport dolly. Now, there are two style of transport dollies that are available. This one that's on board comes with the unit. Uh, some changes that they made, we'll go over those. A uh, little bit better construction than the old bicycle axle style wing nuts and those locking nuts. So that's a great improvement. Uh, we also have um, a positive stop when this is flipped over that'll lock it in. And then an accessory that you can get, and we'll go over that in a minute, would be this... Um, uh, stair dolly stair climber kit and then the handle to attach to it for the motor so you could take this up in two units and not break your back it's a great idea um, it incorporates these two here um, that the carry handle goes on so uh, as far as wheel leveling uh, this is factory preset to cut flat so you're not going to have to adjust this uh, but if you did have to adjust this you would loosen the screw here and then you would move this up and down accordingly you know to get your uh, cut flat cut and we did talk about drum pressure so we have three settings here and this is where it all happens um, we've got again up from 50 up to 90. And that's your 50, well, you can't feel this, but a lot lighter, and then 90. So, all right. So for the uh, transport dolly, again, we're and then it stays. So I don't know if you guys remember, the old unit would just float back there um, and you had to keep your, you know, kind of keep your foot on it to get it to stay. And now we've got it stayed. So, you know, if you stay on these two wheels, you're pretty much can pivot anywhere you need to go. Um, the same if you go to the rear, if you need to get up a, you know, a small curb or a small, a small step like it's coming into our repair shop here. be honest with you, they look like the old either wrench handle clips or uh, the old American 8 sander, drum sander um, belt, belt guard clips right there. That's a long time ago. Right. And again, positive on the other side. Excellent. Leave that there. Anybody have any questions? Um, something else asked, uh, how does this compare to the Galaxy 2000? Um, I can see the Galaxy's uh, adjustment for drum pressure is, is pretty much infinite. I mean, obviously there is a, a light and a, and a heavy and it can get so heavy that you'll skip across the floor according to what grit, almost like you're on a skateboard. Um, so the weight on this machine uh, is listed at 200 pounds, but the packing weight, and it's probably because of that skid and the cord, is about 290. So, you know, it's gotta be the skid. 
So I would say that this is about 200 pounds. The Galaxy is probably, you know, 220, 225. I would say that the, and the, the, the way the drum gets to the floor on the Galaxy is on two pivoting arms or pins. And it's a solid uh, chassis and it's almost a carriage that goes from the rear caster handle, rear caster, all the way to the lateral casters. And then the chassis itself sits in that carriage. Whereas, and the, and the pressure comes from a back spring. Whereas the, this unit sits over the carriage, the wheel truck, and gets lowered by pushing up against the spring. So, and I don't know if that made sense, but that's the biggest difference between the two units when we're talking an eight inch unit. And these are, again, this is an eight inch, the Legend's an eight inch belt sander. Um, so yeah, you probably get more drum pressure out of the Galaxy. Um, doesn't equate into a better or not sand. It's, that's really, I think, comes down to the mechanic. You know, once you have two machines that are operating well, um, a lot of the performance comes down to, you know, abrasive and, and the mechanic's ability. Um, but I have sanded it with this, and I know that this is probably one of the flattest, smoothest sanding machines that I've ever run. Like, I, it reminds me of a brand new American 8 from 25 years ago that out of the box, those things, even though they were cut paper, you got that paper on right, they cut, and they cut flat and smooth. Um, that's, that is kind of what I feel on this machine when I'm sanding with it. Um, so we'll light it up and literally light it up. We're gonna um, get the LED light going. We'll get the laser going. Um, you know, I, it's funny, I, people are like, why do we need a laser? And I'm like, I really don't know why we need a laser. But if you think about it, uh, if you're cutting a parquet floor, if you're cutting, um, you know, just a standard um, herringbone floor where you don't have the lines that we have, you know, in this five inch hickory plank floor that we test on right now that you can judge off of these lines. So, and you're in a, in a large ballroom, you know, that laser shooting across gives you an idea of where you're going and where you come from. And believe it or not, when you're walking back, you know, with your sanding belt on, you know, that machine could get a little wave to it and that may help you keep it straight. So I, I get it, you know, it's, uh, it's all good. You know, why do we need USBs? Well, guys want to charge their phones at launch, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, all of these additions, all of these innovations have really been thought out and I think they did a great job. You know, American Sanders did a great job with this. So we won't use the new cable that it comes with. This is a 50 foot um, gray non-marking cable that it comes with. We're just gonna leave it in the box. So if anybody watching wants to buy it, you'll get an unused cable. Um, oh, well, you know what? Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about this before we fire it up. So this kit is the stair climber kit. And I believe this is for the motor dolly. Yeah, so this is the handle assembly that extends this stair climbing kit so that you could put the motor on it and come up the steps. When you put it on this unit, you can climb the steps using the steering handle. So you can see uh, non-marking gray soft dolly wheels, uh, not gonna ruin any steps going up or down. Still gotta be really careful, it's a 200 pound machine. This is probably gonna add 20, 25 pounds to it. So um, this is going to attach the same way. You're going to put it on here. And then you'll back this over to be able to go up the steps. And then what this will do is this will follow the steps. So it'll go right up to the next tread above the riser and up. And you just keep going up. So it's just such a great idea. Um, the handle 
that's in this box for the motor. Gotta get this out. Seeing concept, um, that dolly is gonna go on the motor at the, at the top here. This handle is gonna connect to it and allow you to take the motor up. So if you wanted to take the machine apart, you're by yourself, not comfortable with the motor and the machine going up the stairs with that, then you get this with that kit and you can take the motor up separately and then you can take the sander up. Um, maybe we'll do a video in the future on you know, this unit at a job site with all these. It's probably a good idea. Um, so yeah, so this is the motor dolly kit. This is gonna help you take the motor upstairs. And um, you can see, again, repeating, the uh, dolly is gonna fit in here. And then the motor, this is gonna scooch under the motor and the pins are gonna fit through. So you should be secure in bringing your motor upstairs. Oh, so the dolly, just so you know, uh, I would say a while ago when the dollies first came out, they were proud of the machine. Just enough where they might have hit the wall. Um, they are now not proud of the machine and it will not hit the wall. It is behind, the width of it is behind everything, which is bueno. All right. Um, Let's plug her in. So this is, um, you can see the LED light in there indicating power in. Um, I'm gonna bring this up so that you guys can see the voltage meter, hopefully. I don't know how well it'll show. Um, Tom, can you see that? Yeah. So, you know, we're showing 246 volts. Um, we have really good electric in here. Obviously we are a um, repair facility. So this machine is totally customizable. I mean, you can literally hot rod it. Um, they have four base colors that you can mix and match. Where, for instance, you know, the belt guard, um, the uh, sanding belt door, um, I think even the LED light cover, uh, which by the way, you saw came on when it was plugged in and voila, laser. Um, actually, we'll just leave that off. So they have gold, white, like candy apple red and blue and black. So five colors and you can intermix any one of those. So if you go to americansanders.com, you will be able to do a custom order sheet and then that machine would just ship to us and you would pick it up here or we would ship it to you. So um, you can trick it out and have fun with it. Uh, again, we order them in the base, which is black, and we order them um, again with the uh, standard uh, handle that's not adjustable, but you can get you can get one that's adjustable. So if you have four or five guys sanding crews out there and you're switching between machines or that kind of thing. So one guy's got a six foot three guy and another guy van's got a five foot four guy in there. You know, they'd be able to adjust it if you ordered them that way. Um, and we can special order them too for you. It's no problem. Uh, but you could check them out on americansanders.com and see what the combinations are that are available. It's pretty neat. Oh, and you can also change out the handle colors. So instead of maple, I think it's walnut and oak. You can do walnut and oak on the handles. So have fun. All right, so I'm just gonna check a uh, belt track. And here. So that was a relatively newer 100 grip belt, um, but you know, tracked spot on. And uh, as far as 
tracking the belt. Uh, you got a nut here. I'm just gonna unplug it while I got my hand in there. Uh, you got a locking nut here you're gonna loosen. And then you have a socket head screw there. Um, if you turn it clockwise, the direction's here on the door. If you turn it clockwise, the belt's gonna ride out. And if you turn it counterclockwise, the belt's gonna ride in. And I believe on the inside, yes. So this same carbide block is on the inside of the top roller mounting system in here. So if the belt does shoot in, it's gonna eat up the belt and not eat through your chassis here. Um, I'm sure everybody's seen the doors get cut through here. So, um, so again, think of the top roller like this. You're gonna turn that screw, send it down. The belt's gonna ride out towards the outside of the machine. Turn it counterclockwise. It's gonna let the top roller come up and send the belt in the machine. So, you know, every manufacturer's belts run differently. So you, you may need to adjust it. You may need to adjust it between grits. It's really kind of up to the job, how the job site's running, the abrasive, and um, any kind of wear and tear to the machine that is the drum or the top roller unit. Again, we talked earlier about the debris. Getting debris on that top roller unit can affect how that belt's gonna track. So, this machine will also run off of uh, the power booster, American Sanders power booster. So if you are not getting you know, that 240 to 250, if you're you know, 220 and lower and you plan on running that cable 100 feet, 75 feet, you know, I would boost that in between and then um, you know, run that booster to the room that you're in and then go room to room with it and you won't have a problem. But that's 50 feet of cable it comes with. There's more cable available here. We custom cut cable all the time. If you lose power to this machine, you're gonna to have to go back to the machine to turn it on. So if you go hit the breaker, it's still plugged in. The LED lights, all the voltage lights, the hour meters, everything will light up, but the machine won't start until you reset that breaker. So that's just a, a safety feature. We've all seen edgers take off when somebody kicks a breaker and goes and turns it on and it's laying down. Well, maybe not all of us, just some of us. Okie dokie, schmokey. I'm gonna use this. Man, that's smooth. That is really smooth. I mean, there is, we used to have a, a meter that we could put on the handle for a vibration and you could see it digitally what the vibration was. That thing would be like zero. <laughs> Yeah, that is really... 
really smooth. I wish you guys could feel this return. Like, you know, sometimes like in an older sander, you're going forward and that caster spins as, as the lateral wheels are traveling forward. When you come back, that caster spin sometimes causes the machine to dip. So, and that's a lot of that is in the design of this machine. The angle that that steering handle comes at the operator. When you come back, you're not lifting up with the machine. You're coming straight back. And that caster, because it's dual wheels, as it spins, you know, the two casters are doing this. And it's just, there's no, there's no dip in the front. I mean, it's, it's dead flat. Nice job, American Sanders. Yeah, really well put together machine, you know, um, made here in America and heck of a job. Any questions? Does anybody have any questions? No? All right, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. You guys think of anything else? No? I think I covered it all. If I didn't, somebody will let me know. But yeah, maybe what we do that is take that out to a, you know, take that out to a job site. You know, check the uh, stair climber kit and the dolly for the motor as well. But um, again, they thought of everything, all tools on board, voltmeter, hour meter, um, inline circuit breaker for safety, top roller, drum, efficient tracking, cutting flat, caster brace. Um, you know, the suspension system underneath and compression springs, top notch. They thought of it all. USB port to charge. That's right. Charging your phone there. All right. As always, appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you have any comments or um, ideas on what you'd like to see, you know, obviously we'll always do a new unveiling of a, of a new piece of equipment. Um, they get a little bit more difficult without the conventions because you don't know what's coming out, but that'll all wrap up, I'm sure, and we'll be back to conventions and that kind of thing. So, americansanders.com to customize it, uh, cityfloorsupply.com to order one.